is supporting Doctors Without Borders. In 2018, MSF cared for more than 11 million people caught in war zones, disasters, epidemics, urban slums, and remote isolated regions. More than 40,000 MSF doctors, nurses, midwives, epidemiologists, water and sanitation experts, and other qualified professionals, most of whom were locally hired, ran 446 medical relief projects in over 70 countries. Our team's dedication and hard work combined with your generosity allowed us to hospitalize 758,000 people for illnesses and injuries, ranging from pneumonia and tuberculosis to war wounds and severe burns. We treated close to 2.4 million malaria patients, conducted 105,000 major surgeries, and assisted at 309,000 births, including tens of thousands of obstetric emergencies and we cared for 74,000 severely malnourished children in our feeding centers and vaccinated nearly 1.5 million children during outbreaks of measles. And it looks like we're ready, so I'm gonna to toss it over to the couch for Mega Man 3 Any Percent by Colonel Fatso. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. So I'm Fatso, I've got uh, with me Chelney, TJ, and Fast to CC, and uh, we're going to be playing Mega Man 3 in 3, 2, 1, go. Woo! All right, so this is Top Man. Uh, I don't know, maybe... Yeah. I like, I like this guy. He's fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, there's been a few different routes of Mega Man 3. Um, the current iteration, we are going with Top Man first. Uh, he takes two damage from the Buster weapon, um, and so it makes a good place to start. You get a little foothold in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, this game has two different weapon weakness, or sorry, two sets of weapon weaknesses, so we're going to have to use a soft weakness to break in later. But uh, for now, you'll see that uh, we just came from Mega Man 2. Mega Man 3 introduces the slide, which... You can tell it's twice as fast as walking, so we're going to so be fast. trying to, yes. Yeah. We're going to try to slide as much as possible. Um, nice backwards D boost there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So now we're going to try to feed some cats here. Yeah. Eat the pellets. <laughs> mm. Thanks for repeating the joke from setup. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Not quite as fast as Heck Wheel, but you know, we're, slide is pretty good. Yeah, uh, three jump boats. It's good. Yeah, ten ten hits to kill those cats. So killing them in three jumps with ten hits is uh, takes quite a bit of mashing. Yeah. Uh, this is known as the mash heaviest uh, Mega Man speed run, and for good reason. Yeah, there's no iframes thankfully in this game, so the faster you mash, the faster things die. So really ideal. All right, so we're nice, gonna be nice through. yep. <clears throat> Difficult stage. Nice to get through that one without a death. Yeah. Spin me around. So we're going to need 14 hits for Top Man here. He has a little per period where he goes invulnerable. We're looking for a three cycle. Nice. There it is. That was pretty good. Yeah. Nice. You see him doing a slide at the end there to try to get in the middle. Uh, you want to try to, you can see he jumps up to get his weapon. You have to walk to the center. So he's going to be trying to end the fight in the middle wherever possible. Yeah. And the other thing is... Uh, it wasn't really possible in top, but like for other bosses, you want to kill them when they're in the center as well, because all those explosion bubbles, they have to clear the screen before we can actually start collecting the weapon. Yeah. <clears throat> Time for the fun. Oh yeah, Shadow Man is a, the best a very in the game. interesting and challenging <laughs> stage, so I'll probably yeah. be quiet for most of it. There was a reason why this route really wasn't a thing for quite a while, and that's because the last room of Shadow is very difficult, and we always wanted to have Magnet Missile before we got there, but uh, a nice uh, quick sort of easy-ish <laughs> trick was found uh, that allows us to kill the Parasus with top spin and clear the pits at the same time in a lot of ways. So um, you're going to see Fatso go for some pretty ridiculous jumps through there. Favorite room in the game right yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great room. Yeah, Mega Man 3 is also pretty notorious for being an incredibly laggy game, so uh, efficiently killing enemies before too many of them appear on screen is a pretty big part of running this. Nice room. Beautiful. Nice room. So here we go. We're going to kill a few of these shoes and then get up to the parachute section. There are frogs, Chilney. Please. <laughs> They're beautiful shoes. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't oh, like yeah, that. No. Good call. Good call. Excellent. God. Yeah. Room, dude. That's very difficult. 
The reason why that was so difficult is because of the way topspin works. When you collide with an enemy, it kind of knocks you backwards. So he kind of tries to turn around right before colliding so that it knocks him in the direction he needs to go. Nice fight. Yeah, very good. Really good. Setting the record straight on topspin, people like to uh, denigrate topspin, but it is a powerful weapon. It yeah. one-shots like half the enemies in the game. You just yeah. got to know where to use it. Yeah, topspin yep. is serious business for sure. So now we're going to go to Gemini. <laughs> another <laughs> another interesting and yeah. challenging stage for sure. So yeah, this, this route starts <laughs> with three very, very difficult stages. Uh, Gemini probably the most difficult, uh, at least in the eight robots for sure. Um, we're going to see uh, a lot of buster usage in this first screen, and... Uh, <laughs> We'll see if uh, we'll see how Fatso does here. Yeah, there's a reason why this used to be stage one for a long time, just because of the difficulty of the stage. A lot of runners wanted to get it out of the way first. Yeah, it's not uncommon to see people just reset the stage for hours on end. Yeah. It's a recurring theme throughout the game of trying to kill enemies as soon as they spawn. So you'll see me shoot at like times that seem random, but actually as just a catch an enemy sure. immediately as it spawns. <laughs> that was an amazing screen. Yeah, yeah. Really, really, <laughs> yeah, really good. We also jumped through the uh, the animation there for watching Proto Man come down to let you uh, get through. And that allows us to uh, despawn the music here. And that actually is going to reduce a lot of the lag that the game can create because the game also lags with the music. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> There's so much going on in Gemini. Uh, Fatso <laughs> went through a zip there that, you know, uh, went by really quickly. There's not a lot of zipping in this game. Um, just a really couple small ones, but uh, he, he nailed the big one there. All right. Here we go. Dead silence. <laughs> Oh, we're good. Still fine. We're good. Everything's we're good. Fine. We're, we're alive, fine. dude. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that room is actually as difficult as uh, it is, it doesn't actually even look as difficult as you might realize, but you can't actually jump out of a slide in this game for eight frames. So every one of those little single block slides is very dangerous, and his timing on his jumps has to be really precise. Mm -hmm. The Gemini Man fight is one of the most interesting things in the game, uh, in my opinion, because the Gemini clones each have their nice, own nice, beautiful, hot, center, center kill. That's a really difficult fight. Yeah. So each clone has their own individual iframes, uh, and you can reset the iframes by hitting the other clone. So, um, and Shadow Blade gives you a lot of control over the space in the room, uh, so you can really efficiently swap between hitting each of the Gemini Man clones. Mm. Um, and Fatso is even doing it in a way that. Uh, Gemini Man loses his clone, but still keeps his Phase 1 AI, so he's able to get uh, some pretty rapid hits and manipulate the center center kill. Yeah, it was a really nice fight. Yeah. Now we're going into Friedel. Yeah. We'll probably take <laughs> yeah. a donation during this stage. All right, we have $200 from Justin Dark. Had to donate during the Mega Man block. I took off work all week to watch. GDQ is my favorite time of the year. Ooh, nice. Do we have time for another donation? Yeah, yeah sure. one more. We have a $1,000 donation Ooh. from Incoherent. That Celeste incentive seems daunting, but remember, just breathe. We can do this. Yeah, Needle is a really, really short stage, um, but it does put a lot of things in it that deal a lot of damage to you health-wise. So, uh... Oh, oh no! no <laughs> nice laser. <laughs> uh, what he was trying to do there is fire the laser underneath the needle, but above the ledge, so it kills the porcupine guy. Uh, and then you'd fire another later laser to kill the uh, the quill. But yeah. if you're a little bit short, then it bounces around. It makes you feel terrible. Yeah, Gemini's a really powerful weapon. Does a lot of damage, but uh, causes a ton of lag if you miss. It's too powerful for Danny Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice pattern. Oh, nice no jump. That's all right. All right. It's it's good the worst pattern, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I like the high jump. He's, he's, he's lifting, dude. <laughs> Look at that jump. Yeah, speed is unimportant. All right. So we got Needle Cannon from Needle Man, but more importantly, we got Rush Jet. And Rush Jet is a very powerful tool in this game. Mm -hmm. um, it basically just sticks to you wherever you go. So you can uh, fly in intricate patterns. You can skip mini bosses and stuff. Uh, although I'll hopefully be showing off uh, as an alternative method to skip some of these mini bosses mm -hmm. in this stage. 
Okay, they decided after this game that it was not smart for Jet to work that way because you can pretty much skip everything. But it's not that powerful of a speed tool because it's slower than sliding, so... Mm. So at this point in the stage order, uh, we've broken into both of the weakness loops. So we started with Top Man, and then uh, we used the soft weakness on Gemini. Go. I see it. Oh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Okay. Second try. Nice. So you can fly over that with Rush Jet, or you can just slide through it like that. Um, basically, you slide into the tail segment, and it pushes you through the wall. Probably time for one more donation before we get to the second snakehead. All right, we have $500 from CK41. <laughs> Gotta throw down for our favorite block. The Blue Bomber's given us so much over the years. For everlasting peace, with love from the 20XX team. Take two. Let's do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's oh. good. There we go. Hey. <laughs> nice slide. The last segment has to be in like a kind of a specific position, so the, the setup is really precise there to get it on the first try. All right, so I'm going to be flying through most of this screen. Uh, basically, I want to jump over the top of the screen, and that's going to take Mega Man actually off, right? Mega Man won't be drawn, and so it saves leg a little bit. But I don't want to jump too high because I can screen wrap and activate that cloud platform down there. Uh, shout out to Chilney. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? You, you saved us seven frames, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I'm here to help. Snake Man can do a nice fight. Snake Man can do a few different patterns there. You're hoping for him to not shoot snakes. There's not a ton of RNG in this run, but there's just a little bit kind of spurt sprinkled throughout with one big exception later. Big. Enough to keep it interesting, exception. but not enough to ruin the run. Right, yeah. exactly. Yes, yeah, so at this point, uh, we have Rush Jet and we have the weaknesses for uh, the remaining Robot Masters. Well, for Snake and Magnet we did, so it didn't really matter in which order he played those two. Um, the only difference is that now that he has Snake, uh, the Rush Jet menu is going to be one input quicker. Yeah, we did a complete route change because <laughs> of one menu input. <laughs> but I'm not complaining because Snake Sips make it a more like pressing stage to do first for RTA purposes. The nice thing about now coming here uh, later is we have Rush Jet now, so we don't have to do the Yoko Block section. We can skip a lot of it as well. Nice the, pro fight. Yeah. Yeah, very good. 28 hits for Proto. Nice. This screen oh. is Oh, man. This stage is really hard to do, Buster only. Yeah, just a lot of tight windows to mash things down and quite a bit of movement. Previous uh, route that was run was, uh, well, some people ran, uh, was Magnet first, and uh, you had to do these Yoku block sections without Rush Jet. So here, Rush is our, Rush is our friend and uh, allows us to skip that section. Saves quite a bit of time. Oh, not just here. Rush is always our friend. Ah, Best true. friend. That's true. Best friend. But can you pet the dog? Mm. <laughs> if you try hard enough. In Rockman, <laughs> in, in Minus Infinity, you can pet the dog and your dog can pet the boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be hoping for a shield pattern from uh, Magnet here, which means that he'll do a jump. Nice. Oh, yeah. okay. Oop. Oh, uh, that's right. Okay. Nice fight. You know. Yeah, so getting that instant shield there, that means that I get close, and uh, it cancels the shield attack, and uh, I can just continue the fight immediately. Mm. Yeah, he normally tries to draw Mega Man in, but if Mega Man's already taken damage and is standing on top of him, mission accomplished. Uh, so he'll just move on to his next attack. All right. We successfully went to uh, Magnet before Hard, so yes. Hard <laughs> nice. is going to be a lot easier than it was at Calathon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So these bees guys will uh, drop this hive, and when the hive lands, it creates five smaller bees that uh, follow you around and chase you. Uh, and it creates a ton of lag, so you really want to kill those before they drop that. Well, nah, not the bees. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun little room here. Okay. 
Yeah, trying to it's an eight hits challenge. Yeah, eight, eight hits to kill that guy, and uh, trying to slide and jump off the steps is, is particularly tricky. Eight hits or one top spin. <laughs> Score one for top spin. Nice. It's nice a tricky da uh, yeah. reverse damage boost. Yeah. Player. Neat looking strat. Our best friends, the Met Dozers. Yeah, their hitboxes are really special. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Thanks for demonstrating, Met Dozer. Oh no, I hate this screen. Worst room in the game. <laughs> I hate this screen. So yeah, uh, even if you're still holding down, like from initiating your slide, if you uh, press the A button during the slide, then you'll jump out of it. So that's what happened there. Instead of chaining my slide, I jumped. Yeah, it's a tricky Proto Man fight there with the, the elevation change. A lot different than just mashing him in this flat room. Yeah, and here I'm going to try and skip the, like, frozen phase of this fight. Nice, nice. beautiful. Yep. You just get knocked into the ground and take a second hit. <laughs> Gotta watch your health throughout the stage, though, because he does hit you twice and does 12 damage, which is, like, half your bar, so... Is it 12? I thought it was 16. Six and six. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, it's Mega Man 4. Boss yeah, don't do eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we just got uh, one more Robot Master to go, and then we'll be into the sort of latter half of the game. Man, this game has a good soundtrack, doesn't it? it sure, sure does. does. There should be time for one donation, probably. All right, we have $25 from Optic Walrus. Been a fan of GDQ and the causes it supports for years, and the Mega Man block felt like the perfect time for my first donation. When my son Miles was three, he saw me play Mega Man for the first time, and he has been obsessed with it for the past three years. So, Miles, this donation is dedicated to you. All right, I'm gonna try and kill this dozer with magnets. Nice. Okay. nice. Yeah, it's not so easy to do. <laughs> Magnet's a really strong weapon. Uh, tracks enemies. You got to be really kind of particular about how you fire it. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> really powerful. Little tip for anybody watching at home. Uh, you can actually switch pages of the uh, weapon menu by pressing B. It's a life changer. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> I did speedruns of this game for like three months without knowing that. And then once you do learn it, then you can't. Every time you enter the menu, then you, hit you B. right press B. Yeah. Every time you ruin the from swatch. Shadow Blade to Rush Jet, you always go back to the first page. And yeah, you exactly. Go back to the second page again. Worth it. Oh, gross pattern. Yeah. Hey. Still good though. Nice. Very nice. Nice eight robo time. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. So we're going to be heading into the uh, Doc Robot stages, which are like challenging, uh, <clears throat> sort of... Like remixes? Yeah, remixes <laughs> yeah. of the original A Robot stages. But before that, there's going to be a little animation that plays for a while, so there's time for another donation or so. Okay, we have $50 from Bahamut X. I had to donate during the Mega Man block. It's a series that I enjoy even though I'm not very good at them. It's awesome watching people blaze through them. This donation goes towards Taskbot playing Celeste. <clears throat> so yeah, the gimmick to these stages is, uh, you know, you have the same stage as you've done before. You have two Mega Man 2 robots, so two bosses per stage. All right, we didn't take the classic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you get off rhythm in this yeah, train, yeah, it can a, be a disaster. Yeah, absolutely. This room is pretty notorious for killing runners, uh, uh, good pace runs. Yeah, the, the magnet shot timings are really specific there, too. So you have to fire them, uh, or they just won't track the enemy. Nice little wiggle there. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Wiggles. So here, just killing all those tadpoles, there can only be three of those on screen at the time, so... If I place them where I want them to be, then they won't hinder me later. All right, Flashman first. Yeah. <sighs> ah. Let's try to get over him, uh, and then I could actually end the fight on the right-hand side, but this is not too slow. Yeah, that was a good fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Dog Flash is one of the trickier boss fights, I think. Yeah, this whole stage is, yeah. like, <laughs> impossible to do correctly. Shout out to PJ for the uh, opening half of the screen. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this room looks really scary in a couple spots, especially right here, because mm -hmm. it looks like his iframes have actually worn off, but you can still slide there for a little bit right on the spikes and make it through. Killing some enemies out of the way again, just to reduce lag. Yeah. Didn't show the ladders up? I'm sorry, the run is too good. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Good problems to have. Yeah. You'll make it up to me with everything fish. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I didn't even practice that. Yo, nice one, Pubble. Oh, nice. baby. Just like in Rockman yeah. 2, you want to see as few bubbles as possible here. Yeah. Again, for lag. And especially, like... The difference between one and two bubbles is huge, yeah. and then the difference for a third is not that much. You can do these dock robot stages in any order. They don't give you any weapons. Um, basically, people tend to put the more difficult ones first. Yeah. Nice. Nice job. Awesome. The best trick in the game. <laughs> yeah. Just like in Gemini Man stage, how uh, skipping the proto barrier despawns the music and saves some lag frames, uh, we're using the same concept here. And we're despawning the music by dying in the same frame that we trigger a screen transition. You can actually do that in other games, but uh, when you hit the next screen, you die. <laughs> so uh, they forgot to check that in three, and yeah, we're going to save a good second and a half just by not having the music play. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Those platforms are a little tricky. All right. So I'm actually going to jump into this boss gate. So, like, when you slide, uh, when you shoot and then slide immediately, there's, like, some lingering animation frames uh, that would normally stop you right there at the door. But if I jump into the door, then that doesn't happen. Nice fight. Good fight. Wood is a pretty scary fight casually, but if you know his weakness and you know when you can fire, uh, it's a pretty fast fight, and you can guarantee you'll get through it pretty quick. <laughs> All right, so we are definitely looking for weapon drops now. Yeah. We are sure, Magnet. Um, so while it would be fun to use okay, in here, that's good enough. We definitely want to use Magnet now that we have it to get rid of the uh, the Paris use before they're a problem. That's good. Okay. Yeah, great. Oh, okay. If you don't slide into those <laughs> drops, then you will not slide after the drops. I tried to show off a little animation bug for Prissy, but unfortunately <laughs> uh, couldn't get it to work. Basically, if you, like... If Mega Man's hand is out and you try to go into top spin, uh, then Mega Man will turn into a needle instead. Yeah, Chris okay. isn't here right now, but I'll be disappointed on his behalf. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, PJ. Yeah, I got you. It's a really nice double hit there on Heat. Uh, if you hit him the first frame, he comes out of his charge. Uh, it doesn't uh, trigger the the uh, the trigger the, the I don't even know what you would call invulnerability. it. Invulnerability, yeah. I guess. And you can hit him a second time again really fast. Oh, baby. Oh, nice. But no Gemini. I yeah. love it. Save a menu. Yeah. This saves like 15 frames or something <laughs> like that when I do it well. Yeah, the really great thing about Mega Man 3 is that since the menu is so fast and all of the weapons are really good, um, there's mm -hmm. a lot of flexibility to use weapons in some screens that you're not comfortable using Buster. And you don't really lose a whole lot of time if you do it well. Yeah, I love Spark Shot. Yeah, Spark Shot's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Spark Shot, <laughs> we're coming up on Doc Air. I thought it was relevant. <laughs> Yeah, the one and only time you'll ever see Spark Shot, unless there's a real big menu error. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying. It, it is. It should stop. It does stop, actually. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. Oh, no! That's a slow two cycle there. Cycle. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tough fight. He can throw a lot of different patterns at you, just like Mega Man 2. Um, and, uh, nice. yeah, trying to sneak the spark shot in at the beginning is pretty difficult. Yeah. All right. right. So there's two parts to this here. Uh, nice. I am jumping off the top of the screen to put Mega Man, like, off the top of the screen to reduce lag. And then I'm also trying to despawn these enemies. These dragonflies, they track to your Y position. But if you jump over the top of the screen, you screen wrap to the bottom, and so they track down, uh, they track longer, and you can despawn them off the left. Got them all. Yeah, yeah every despawn. You get to see Search Snake here, which is pretty nice. 
Yeah, not a weapon that many people would like consider a super powerful casual, but um, has some utility in the speed run here. Yeah, I definitely respect Search Snake a lot, a lot more after learning this game. Oops. I meant to jump over that, but whatever, we're healthy. Yeah. Crashman's got a couple different patterns he can do here. If he gives you the long jump across the room, it can be pretty difficult to get the quick kill here. We see, let's see what we get. Nice. Yeah, that yeah was not fight. so bad. That was, that was friendly. <laughs> All right, last dock robot stage. Couple different rounds that people use for this stage. Uh, most uh, runners go with Gemini Laser here. Uh, some people will do Shadow Blade in the first half. They're pretty equivalent time-wise, but uh, this one gives you a little bit of an opportunity to um, also get a drop and then use Gemini Laser at the end against Quick Man as well. Yeah, I haven't been practicing that, so I'm gonna not <laughs> do it no matter what, but. Yeah, enemies that normally take eight hits, we're seeing them killed in two with Gemini Laser, so it's a pretty uh, pretty good choice for this section. <laughs> All right, we got middle. He attracts magnets. <laughs> I like weapon weaknesses that make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That was a good fight. That was good. Yeah, very good. Pretty random boss. That's the safe pixel, but I'm just gonna, like... Uh, <laughs> don't, don't blame you. <laughs> there's another music despawn you can do here, but it's a, it's a stupid setup, and there's, the checkpoint isn't until you get to the bottom, because uh, they hate us. So if you die there, you go all the way back to the beginning. Hmm. Just trying to turn around on that, but not a big deal. <laughs> no drop. Yeah. Thanks, Baron. Good guy, Baron. <laughs> this is a really fun fight. Hmm. Yeah, this is one of my favorite yeah. fights to practice, I think, in the whole game. He's so fast. So Quick Man's body does a ton of damage, but nice the boomerangs fight. don't do a whole lot. That was, that was a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when he stays in range. Yeah, yeah. it's a pretty spicy uh, Dark Robots time. Yeah. Sure was. Neat little trick oh, coming up here. Very nice. Dog time. Nice. <laughs> Twenty six eighteen. I don't know what you're talking Thanks. about. Thanks. Right on. Neat little trick there. Uh, if you pause right as uh, you're uh, getting near the top, you don't have to wait for the full animation to teleport out. You can kind of menu and trick the game into thinking you've teleported out. Oh, that was kind of neat. While we're watching uh, Wiley reveal his nefarious plans, there should be time for a donation or two. All right. We have fifty dollars from Levy Coon. Hey, SGDQ, my sixth year attending now. Had to donate during the best series in all time in my favorite game, Mega Man 3. Have a nice event, you all. Also, may I get some Mega Man hype? So it's, uh... These are some sweet pills. <laughs> Slightly nice. faster to kill those top dispensers rather than take a damage boost through them. It's that mashing coming back into play again. Yeah, Fatso actually uses a double mashing technique there in other parts in the run where he's using both thumbs alternatingly on the B button and getting shots like 70% faster than if he used one thumb, probably. That's my least favorite room. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just it's, laggy for no reason. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's wildly inconsistent. Yeah, it's not just enemies that cause lag in this game. Uh, refills, E-tanks, you know, anything they dry on screen. So that room with no enemies in it lags like crazy. <laughs> yeah. So we, Same we with a, these Yoku blocks. Yeah. We've got our uh, actual random element now of the run coming up here. we got Kogmi and Goro Maker. Oh, uh, yeah. He can go uh, left and right. We're going to have to watch the direction he goes. That's all right. That's good. We want we, him to go right. We want him to move right. The turtles are always going to yes. come out in the same pattern, um, but we want him to spawn or start moving right like Oops. that. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. Get back here. Oh, oh, no. All right. You deserve that one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Nice. That was a pretty good. That was yeah, really, really good. good. Pretty good luck. <laughs> yeah, if he moves right, you get a fast turtle. If moves left, you get a slow turtle. So you want those fast spawns. We can just pretend you got bad RNG there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so at the end of this stage, uh, there's going to be our good friend. Yellow Devil. Yellow yeah. Devil Mark II. The mashing test. Yeah, there's a nice setup for this fight that allows you to uh, mash into his eye and kill him in one cycle here. Ooh, nice. Good, good recovery. Oh, I'm sorry, Polari. You were doing that big toss setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the boost. Shut us to Big Toss. <laughs> so there is no checkpoint in this stage, so if he does die, he goes yeah. back to the beginning. A lot of spikes everywhere. Does a so. does a nice job getting through, so. So yeah, uh, Yellow Devil takes him a while to spawn in. Um, he has with Shadow Blade it takes ten hits to kill him, so Yellow uh is gonna try to position himself such that he has a maximum amount of time to try to fire into the eye while it's open. Easy, easy, easy. If you miss that window, he, he pieces out and goes to the left side of the screen. You lose 18 seconds. Nice Yo, one, one, two. two. Nice. Love it. Squeezing between the first and second bullet of the sprinkler is really tight. So yeah, really nicely done. This is a really tricky screen, too. On some of these slides, he's despawning Rush, because uh, when when you have Rush Coil or Rush Jet selected, you can't fire the buster unless Rush is on screen. So he's summoning Rush, firing the, the bullets, and then pressing Start while sliding to despawn Rush uh, to get rid of the lag. But he also despawned one of the, uh, I don't know, anti-light bulbs, the thing that make the, the screen dark, uh, <laughs> by wiggling at the spawn point so it, it goes away. He teased the zip there. <laughs> yeah, I it. saw it. <laughs> zip is stupid. Ah, no best ah. friend. You can do a frame perfect rush summon nice. and save yeah. like five frames or something like that in this fight. Mm -hmm. That's a fun little kill. Basic Basic oh, sorry, go for it. No, yeah, basically, uh, you can't switch weapons when there's a weapon out, but it, uh, if you have rush equipped, it doesn't check for that. So he fires a shot with rush coil, switches to topspin, and the bullet takes on the properties of topspin. Um, and topspin pierces, and it does damage every frame until the boss dies. Really neat little glitch. I like it. There's a lot of like little tech in this stage. Uh, we're in the refights now. Let's see this. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh. One. All right. One. Oh, one. one. Oh my god. <laughs> the two framer jumps. Yeah, two frame jumps. They're hard. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go through these refights in a way that we try not to menu too much. So you're gonna actually see. Uh, a bunch of the same weapons used in some of these fights, and that's because a lot of the bosses are weak to their own weapon, actually. So uh, you're going to see a few um, optimized kills with the, using their own weapon against them. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, and even even having even when we have the same weapon, our goal is to get to the left side of the screen uh, to try to exit quickly. So it's a little bit different of a setup than the first time we went through these fights. Now we have Top Man's weakness. Oops. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Move on. Good. <laughs> go, Mega Man, go. <laughs> if, you, if you don't give the hard knuckle space to travel there, if you're like right on top of him, he stays in that stun animation for a little bit before it'll let you go. Nice fight. Yeah. It's a neat little Good. thing going into the teleporters facing left, because you'll notice you're facing left, but in the game you're actually facing right. It's kind of, that's why he, you look left, but you're, you actually shoot right when you come into those rooms. It's oh, that's a beauty. Nice, nice, nice fight. fight. Every iteration of the Gemini fight. <laughs> yeah, looks so good. The, the Gemini fight is amazing. Yeah, no matter what weapon you use, it's so much fun. Buster, Snake, Shadow Blade, Gemini Laser. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of people might have fought uh, Magnet here with Spark when they were playing, but uh, he's also weak to Shadow Blade, and it does the same amount of damage, and you can throw Shadow Blade up, so it's the superior weapon. Yeah, yeah you can end that fight at the left wall and right at the teleporter no matter yeah. what. As an added bonus, you don't have to use Spark Shock. <laughs> yeah. All the more reason. This is a hot run right now. Yeah. I just want to okay. point that out. <laughs> yeah. Dang. We are we are looking real pretty right now. 
Yeah, so uh, we've got a couple quick kills left. Um, Wily Machine here, we're going to use Snake on both phases. Uh, first one's pretty simple. The second, uh, Fatso's going to do something that only a few people in the world do. Zero Snake, man. That's, that's impossible. Bam. <laughs> Easy it's every not time. impossible, I just Easy did it every time. <laughs> really nice. Nicely done. Very, very nice. Yeah, most people will fire a couple snakes there to create a little more leg, and it gives you way more time to mash those seven shots into Wily Machine, but um, it's obviously faster to not generate the leg, and if you can do it in one jump, go for it. Here we are into the final stage. Uh, we've just got the final boss. Here we go. Time is when HP reaches zero. Time. time. Wow. GG, dude. Wow. <laughs> what a run. Wow. What a run. <laughs> Casual low 34. That's insane. No big deal. Time. That is insane. Uh, i just like to shout out my couch. Chelney, PJ, Fasta CC. Fasta in particular is a huge innovator uh, in this run and has done like probably more work than any other single person in bringing the time down. Um, and then also, uh, my friends, Cool Kid, Prissy, Darko, Casio, all great Mega Man 3 runners who have made huge contributions to the speedrun. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for Mega Man 11. It's going to be great. You're welcome for our cloud. <laughs> 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 Gotta do something. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, another fantastic Mega Man run. That was crazy. And we still have a Mega Man 11, any percent normal, no out of bounds race coming right up. Um, but at the moment, we are going to throw it over to some words from our sponsors. Omnigamer, and I wrote my new book, Speedrun Science, to help newcomers and veterans alike through the full process of investigating, routing, and performing speedruns. I also introduced speedrunning's rich history, how its rules evolved, and a whole lot more. Better now at Fangamer.com. What's the plan? Go straight for the bomb here. Assault with long range. If we can get crossfire in the arcade, we can actually take it. Don't, don't stand that close to the... <laughs> <laughs> that was me, that was me, that was me. How did that happen? I'm aware it was you. Here, watch this. Okay, okay Vince, are you covering me? Kind of. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I got him. South by window, south by window, he's lit. Oh my god, we did it! Yeah! We did it! <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Chrono.gg. Visit sgdq.chrono.gg to shop. The SGDQ official game store featuring speedrunning favorites at amazing prices. Purchases directly support the charity. So if you want to contribute, you can go ahead and check it out. sgdq.chrono.gg. Make a difference. And also, if you didn't know about RAJ, 2019 is the largest Japanese arcade event in America. It's hosted by Tokyo Attack, featuring 24-hour gaming, over 100 import arcade machines, and more than 30 tournaments, and over $1,500 in pop bonuses. It's an event that you do not want to miss. You can find out more at rashotg.com. And before I do some donation reading, we're going to go ahead and play a little Twitch ad for you guys. So stay tuned. We will be right back.
And welcome everyone to Summer Games Done Quick 2019, powered by Twitch. I'm gonna read just a couple of donations that we got going on right here. We got a 25 anonymous donation that says Celeste is an excellent game and Dodgers Without Borders is an excellent organization. I'm happy to do my part. And for those that are actually wondering uh, to get the bonus game for TaskBot to play Celeste, we still got a little bit of ways to go. We're at $64,151. We need 175,000. Now I know you guys, you guys make miracles happen. So go in and send in those donations if you want to see that happen. I know you want to see it happen. Thank you, Anonymous, for your $150 donation. Shipping in to see the task spot play Celeste. Thank you, Aria119, $25. Nothing better in life than donating for a good cause. Keep up the awesome work. Oh, I thank you. Hoop Mayor uh, Joe needs $50 that says most enjoyable SGDQ to this day. I'm really enjoying the stream. Keep up the good work and greetings from Austria. J Pop Polonia donated $150 that says, Hey y'all, watching this Mega Man block has been amazing. Unfortunately, I have to go to bed because time zones, but I definitely want to see that Celeste Allberries run on YouTube later. So I am putting my donation towards that. An anonymous $250 donation that says, Good evening from France. Bonjour, comment ça va? Always a pleasure to watch SGDQ. Bravo to the staff, the crowd, and the runners for the spectacle. I hope the Task Spot Celeste Incentive will make it. Have a nice day, everybody. Merci. Abhaya, thank you for your $50 donation that says thank you to SGDQ, all the great runners, commentators, and hosts, and, of course, Doctors Without Borders. Gaming uh, right, uh, donates $25 that says SGDQ has been amazing so far. Great runs, great people, and a great event. All of you are awesome. If I didn't have to sleep, I would watch nonstop. Jamie, thank you for your $50 donation. If humans can play Celeste and, lo and it looks like robots, then what does a robot playing Celeste look like? I need to know. <laughs> Coffee Kumi, thank you for your $30 donation. It says, this is my first time donating to GDQ. Awesome job. This event is a joy to watch thanks to all the staff, runners, and couches that make it possible, especially the couches. The, the couches look so lovely at, at these events. They're, they're beautiful. Let's see TaskBot blast through Celeste again.
$20 from Heza says, absolutely loving SGDQ this year. Keep up the great work, everyone. Let's make Taskbot Celeste happen. I agree. Ron with a zero donates $50 that says the GDQ events are some of my favorite moments of the year, every year. I've seen the event improve little by little uh, every edition and watching it never gets boring. Here's some more money for a great cause. Mark Tenshi, thank you for your $250 donation that says, fun times for a great cause. I agree. <laughs> and thank you, Emerald T, for your $100 donation that says, Taskbot Hype! Are you sure you guys aren't the robots? I'm just saying. Mm. Got robots in the in the audience here. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's. I, I want to know what your favorite robot master is. I want to hear some some answers here. <laughs> Those are all great answers. <laughs> the correct answer is sheep man. We have a $50 donation from Am Sturdy that says, uh, have to donate for Celeste to just finish the game for the first time this week in 30 hours. Really want to see it get destroyed later tonight. We're moving it a little bit bit by bit. We're only at $66,452, but I, am, I know we can make it happen. We can get to $175,000. We got to make that happen, guys, okay? All right, we got one more question for the audience and for those at home. Best Mega Man game. Let's go. You guys are incorrect. The real answer is Mega Man Soccer. Thank you guys so much for playing. <laughs> I'm looking at chat, chat says seven, two, X. <laughs> 
soccer. Yeah, see, this guy's got it here. I mean, man, that's soccer, dude. It's the best. <laughs> Jojo Chico, thank you for your $25 donation that says, first time donator, love everything about GDQ. Shout out to everyone watching SGDQ with me all week. Thank you to everyone for putting on this event. And Lesvik, thank you for your $25 uh, dollar donation that says, shout outs from Brazil. Put this money on TaskBot because I love all the work the TaskBot crew does to break the beloved games we already love. Tom 157, thank you for your $10 donation. I said, shout outs to my man rocking it in the crowd. Every year I expect him to be there, and he never disappoints. <laughs> thank you, Gordon Fear, man, that says, uh, donates $250. That says, beep boop, fast spot, good use, some love. I agree. Oh, this is the Animal Cannon. Oh, wow. This is a really good song. Crank it up, please. Hey Taco, thank you for your $30 donation that says, hey guys, loving the Mega Man runs. Keep up the good work. Hey, for everlasting peace, am I right? I just wanted to remind everyone that uh, we got a grand prize, and it is the Legend of Zelda theme re replica Master Sword and Highland Shield provided by the Heroic Replicas. The minimum donation amount, though, is 200, but it's okay. It can be cumulative, so you know, you, you throw in a five dollars over here, you sneak in a little ten dollar, you sneak in that, you know, that really, you know, thirteen dollar thirty-seven cent. Let's be honest. I know you guys do it. <laughs> But if you want to get your chance to win an amazing prize, got to send us those donations, guys. Got to send them in. Dude, Grand Mountain Stage is just a great song. Probably in 40 does not get enough love. Terry27, thank you for your $40 donation that says TaskBot is best bot. I agree.
All right, we're slowly getting there with that bonus game, but I, I, I don't think you guys are feeling it. I mean, uh, we're just just under seventy thousand dollars for uh, Taskbot plays less, but we need a hundred and seventy-five thousand. I know you guys can make it happen. Let's make it happen, guys. Because I know you guys love those orbs. Come on. See? I'm not wrong. <laughs> I know memes. <laughs> Let's make it happen, guys, okay? Here's someone that donated $35, 17 cups of coffee that is just chanting, Tass, 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 Tass. There you go. <laughs> we can make it happen. I know we can. Thank you, Bismarck, for your $150 donation that says, this is my eighth GDQ, and it just keeps getting better. Thank you, runners, and all the GDQ staff for an incredible show. Matt with Pearl, Pearl Pop, sorry, donates $20. It says, hey all, Matt with Pearl Pop here. So glad to be able to donate prizes to the event this year. This is for a great event, a great cause, and all the incredible talent on display. SGDQ hype! <laughs> Just so natural. <laughs> Kara76, thank you for your $20 donation that says, I've been watching GDQ for three years now, and I've tried to donate every year. I may not always donate a lot, but every little bit counts. Thank you all for your amazing work, and Task Block hype! Every bit counts. I agree, Kira. Every bit counts. <laughs> we got a $500 donation from Anonymous. Woo, look at that. Come on, man. Clap for that that says, I for one welcome our new task bot overlords. I agree. <laughs> John94, thank you for your $30 donation that says TaskBot. But of course, shout out to all people there and the donators who make this successful. I agree.
And don't forget, guys, when you guys are donating, when you donate a certain amount, you can put yourselves to win some pretty amazing prizes uh, during this section block until our uh, bonus game, which we will definitely meet. I, I, I don't even doubt that. Um, you can get a couple of cool prizes, so if you uh, donate $40, uh, dollars, you can get yourself a Mayman 2 quilt. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I don't know how people have the talent to do this. I, I can't. That looks like it would hurt my fingers so badly, but it looks fantastic. There's also a Mega Man 11 Retro Stage Select. It's a nice little frame. You got to donate $30 at least if you want to get your chance to win that prize. And it's cool. It has all, all your 11 Robot Masters. It's pretty nice, pretty sweet. You can also get your chance, if you donate only just $5, you can get the Bit Brigade Presents Mega Man 2, which is a beautiful vinyl. And I mean, if you like Mega Man music, then obviously, it just speaks for itself. You have to get it, you know? So make sure you guys are sending in those donations so you can get a chance to help us and win those awesome prizes. Zana, thank you for your $50 donation. That says Taskbot Hype! Let's get this train rolling already. And then we also got an anonymous $1,000 donation. Wow. Another great SGDQ. Keep up the awesome work. Gotta see Taskbot Celeste. I agree. I agree. And for those wondering where we are right now on the uh, bonus game, we, we kind of pushed it up a bit, a little better, 74,289. But I know we're, we got a ways to go if we want to make that happen, guys. You guys want to see the task bite. You guys want to see the Celeste. You guys want to see the orbs. Come on. Like, it, orb. Yes, come on. Let's make it happen. If I have to do some poyos for you guys, so be it. I'll, I'll be a monkey for you guys. <laughs> Send in those donations, okay? We got a uh, $40 donation from Little Joe that says, I've turned up the bass and uh, am rock and roll into some awesome Rockman speedruns. Fellow viewers, let's continue this protocol to donate mega bucks for a great cause. Gotta love the puns, dude. Gotta love them. Thank you, Nintagius, for your $5 donation that says one last donation for my boy, Mega Man. Great work from the runners, staff, and donors. It's been one heck of a show this year and an inspiration to gamers and streamers alike, not just speedrunners either. Keep it up, everyone. Whiskey with a one donates $200 that says thank you GDQ and Doctors Without Borders for a better event with this year's Summer Games Done Quick. Wait, Lord, this donor wants Taskbot playing Celeste. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
You guys, it's time for some Mega Man 11. You guys ready for this? Take it away. Yo, what's up, everybody? 